Quality Center has the concept of a test plan, which is essentially a library of test cases that we reuse. Those test cases are included in test sets, which we execute as part of a test run. So we essentially have two different instances of a test case. The instance that held within the test library, under the test plan section, and the instance that's run as part of a test set under a formal test run. So whilst the instances are essentially the same test case, the relationship between the test plan instance and the runtime instance means that the content could be completely different. And this is the focus of this session. We're going to look at two scenarios. The first is where we update the test plan instance without affecting instances of the test case that have already been run. The second is where we run an instance of the test case and maybe update that test case as part of the run and again that will not interfere or impact the test case within the test plan. So the first scenario then, we have a test case called profiling and that has two test design steps in it. That test case is contained within a number of different test sets within the test sets area so under this regression test set we have a profiling test case and under this other cycle here we have a regression test set where the profiling test case is held. Now in the first test set we have already run the test case and we already have a passed result against it. That test set can be seen or that test run can be seen under the test run area and if we look at that run we can see the two test steps and both of which were passed. Now any changes to the original test case within the test plan should not impact that test run. So if we were to add another test step for example that change in the test plan should not impact the already executed instances. And indeed, if we come and look at the test run, we can still see that the original test run with the original version of the test case still has only two test steps. If we come back to the test plan and the test set which contains the test case, we can see again in the test set the last run status included only two test steps. However, if we look at the profiling test case within another test set and maybe look at the test instance details, then this instance picks up the latest version from within the test plan. So if we run this test case within this test set you'll now see that we've got three test steps and indeed we can pass all of those and end the test run. So under our test runs area we have two instances of executing the profiling test case one where it originally started with two test steps and the second run where we had three test steps. So we have a few key concepts here Firstly, the test case in the test set is really a link to the latest version of the test case within the test plan. The last run report for the test case in the test set is the version of the test case that was run for that particular test set. So in this instance, two test steps. In this instance, three test steps. So a snapshot shot of the test case from within the test plan is taken when you run the set. There is one exception to this, and that is if you have the concept of baselining enabled within Quality Center. 
in which case your test cases are linked back to a particular version of the test case. Now we cover baselining in a separate session, but just to highlight the fact here, if we look at the regression test set with the profiling test case here, if I remove this test case from the test set and re-include that test, same test case, you'll notice when we run the test within the set that it may have a completely different set of test steps in it and that is because the test set is pinned to a particular baseline. And we can see that a test set is pinned to a baseline with that icon there. And if necessary, we can clear that pinned baseline as well. If we clear the pinned baseline from this test set, then the test set will always pick up the latest version of the test case from within the test plan. So what's important here is that we can manage the separate instances independently between the test plan area and the test runs. Now, Quality Center's approach to this is well founded because the runtime instance can exist as a separate entity whilst linkage back to the original master test case in the library or test plan is maintained.